Prime Minister Narendra Modi played the perfect host, but the chill in the Indo-Canada ties could not be hidden by the warmth of Indian hospitality. Canada had, after all, just a couple of months ago, fired the first shot by calling off talks on a free trade agreement talks with India. And earlier Tuesday, India woke up to the news of the Canadian Prime Minister alleging role of Indian authorities in the killing of a Khalistani separatist in Canada. This was followed by a tit-for-tat expulsions of high-ranking diplomats. Most, however, agree that the diplomatic standoff is unlikely to affect trade relations between the two countries much. Canada is not even among the top 25 trade partners of India. Even Bangladesh is higher on the list. However, for Canada, India was the 10th largest trading partner in 2022. Bilateral trade between India and Canada jumped to $8.16 billion in 2022 to 23 after a couple of years of COVID induced slowdown. India's exports of $4.1 billion to Canada comprised mainly pharmaceuticals, gems and jewellery, textiles and machinery, while imports included pulses, timber, pulp and paper, and mining products. What analysts are concerned about is the huge investments Canadian pension funds have made in India. Many feel that continued tensions between the two countries could hurt these investments. The largest pension fund of them all is the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board, which had investments of 15 billion US dollars as on 31st March this year. This includes a 2.7% stake in Kotak Mahindra Bank. It also owns shares in around 70 other publicly traded companies in India. Another big fund is the Quebec Workers Pension Fund, which has about $6 billion invested in India. The Ontario Teachers Pension Fund has about $2.2 billion invested in Indian funds and securities. Most of these investments are in areas like infrastructure, renewable energy, technology and financial services. Moreover, cumulative FDI from Canada since 2000 is about $4.07 billion. Over 600 Canadian companies have a presence in India and over 1,000 companies are actively pursuing business in the Indian market. Importantly is the massive presence of Indian students in Canada which may ensure normalcy in bilateral relations. In 2021, there were 319,000 Indian students in various Canadian colleges contributing $4.9 billion to the country's economy. 226,000 more joined them last year. Indian students are the largest student group in Canada, accounting for 20% of all international students. There are also over 200 educational partnerships between Indian and Canadian institutions. Analysts also cite the cold relations between India and China. Skirmishes and standoffs at the LAC have failed to dilute trade relations between the two countries. Many, in fact, feel that trade and commerce could be the catalyst for a future revival in Indo Canadian political relations. Your report Business Today Television. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.